Hello, my name is Tom Ziegelbauer, and welcome to another tip and tutorial on how to integrate Slack with Zoom. There's, I'm sure, a lot of you that are out there right now that are working remotely uh, due to COVID, and I found this is just saves me a ton of time and our team members by allowing them to launch Zoom meetings uh, directly inside of Slack. Um, so you don't have to open up Zoom, go to the invite, copy the <laughs> URL, uh, paste that off to somebody or send it in an email or, or invite them uh, that way. So I'm gonna show you a quick way in order to integrate this into your uh, Slack channels. Um, and uh, direct messages to people uh, to save you a couple of steps. Okay, let's get after it. So a couple things that I have set up here, nothing out of the ordinary. I use Slack inside of my browser versus the desktop app um, because I like to have multiple productivity things up inside of my Chrome browser at the same time. I have that off in a, in a separate window. So this is just an efficiency thing for me. And I also have the Zoom desktop app that is installed and active on my computer. So it will automatically launch uh, Zoom versus having to open it up and sign in uh, to the application. So those are the first two things. The last one would be you need to have your workspace admin um, go in and add the Zoom app integration uh, to your Slack uh, channels. So the way to do that, um, you can just tell them, go to add apps and you search for Zoom. They would come here um, and then it would show them the page to authorize that um, for that connection um, of Zoom in inside of your Slack. Uh, because we already have it installed, uh, we just need to then um, type the slash shortcut commands to launch Zoom. And I'm going to show you several examples of that. So the first one would be, and I'm just going to grab somebody who's offline right now. Um, so they're not trying to join my Zoom. Uh, you type uh, the slash, which is uh, the start of any shortcut command inside of um, Slack. Type zoom, and it gives you a couple of different options, and then hit enter. It has that shortcut command inside of this direct message, so I can hit that. It then uh, will allow you to start that meeting if I want to, and uh, there it's doing that. So I'm going to end it. So that's one way of starting Zoom. Uh, this is really super helpful when you are inside of a Slack channel with several other members and you want to create an ad hoc uh, super quick meeting. Um, all right, um, at 1.15, we're going to have a meeting, but instead of scheduling that, uh, maybe you forgot to do it. Uh, this is a way that you can quickly launch that meeting for everybody inside of that channel. The other thing, which is super cool inside of Slack versus having to go in and open up your Zoom, launch that meeting, go to invite and uh, copy that link or email uh, a bunch of people is uh, right within Slack. You can do this call feature. So if I come up to Daniel and I go to call Daniel Espinosa, I have two options in here, Slack or Zoom. I can click on Zoom, watch this. It'll automatically launch Zoom for me. He gets a notification inside of the channel just like before uh, and he's able to join that. So it saves so many steps um, versus having to go open it up, go to participants, go to invite, copy that link, and then maybe drop that in a browser. I don't know about you, but if you have 10, 15, 20 of these real quick Zoom meetings, it we find it's more efficient 
to instead of slack, 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 slack back and forth, it's a whole lot easier to be able to go in and do something like this, get your questions answered and then drop and move on to your next thing uh, than that. So hopefully this helps. If uh, you do have any questions uh, about the integration or uh, just kind of general questions on what I went over today, feel free to drop those questions inside of the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, uh, make sure that you like that hit the little thumb icon and if you are interested in seeing more tips and tutorials for me uh, that i do every week uh, hit that subscribe button and i will um, definitely get uh, more content out here and uh, if there are suggestions for things that you'd like to see you have some uh, challenges inside of your business and you'd like to see how technology can help you uh, solve those problems or scale your business, uh, definitely put those in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.